as an oily skin person trying matte products is something that i like to do so today we're going to be reviewing the nars soft matte complete foundation i've been seeing this product everywhere lately so i was like hmm i should try a foundation that's actually suited for my skin type which is extremely oily and acne prone they claim this foundation is a 16 hour wear, it's non-oxidizing, it's transfer proof, it is for oily skin types, it is natural looking comfortable matte. I have it on me right now, you're gonna see how it applies in a little bit, but I also have other products on the soft matte collection. I have the soft matte complete concealer and the air matte blush. The shade I went with is the light for Deauville. Deauville. Honestly. <laughs> I have such a constant struggle pronouncing names. <laughs> okay, let's ask Google how you pronounce this. Duville. Duville. Oh, it's French. Hold on. Duville. Duville. Wait. Duville. Duville. Duville number four. Moving on, I have the concealer in Nogatine. You know what? Nogatine. Oh, the, the lady changed. The voice changed. Nogatine nougatine so i kind of pronounced that well duville i had a problem with this one's fine um light 2.2 which seems to be a lot lighter than duville light 4. honestly the concealer does not look that much lighter on me for the air matte blush i have the color scandalous and is a really deep berry tone which i think looks really pretty i really enjoy it and for the lips i'll be using the soft matte tinted lip balm in the color whiplash and i'm using the bronzer laguna in cream the cream version goes from cream to powder and it's limited edition sadly and hopefully we get to have it staying so if you're interested in knowing how these products work on oily skin matte products from the nars line then just keep on watching this foundation is very matte so I'm going to use the Tower 28 SOS spray. Even though I exfoliated already, I don't want this foundation to cling to any dry patches in my skin. Now I'm going to use this oil-free hydrator by Summer Fridays. Even though I'm really, really oily, I'm doing this because I know this foundation is really matte and I don't want it to really enhance any dry texture around my face this is the packaging it's a very classic nars it's a plastic container matte that's the consistency i'm just going to apply on one side with a beauty blender even though it looks like it evened out my skin tone you can still see some of my acne scars as with anything as per usual i have acne scars and they show up on almost everything but you need more concealing on the specific areas i wouldn't go with another full layer on the areas you don't need it because you don't want to start looking really cakey so i'm gonna use what's left on the back of my hand and i'm gonna give it another layer we're gonna have to use some concealer at the end to cover those up. I really don't want to go overboard. My shoulder is a little bit tanner, but we can use bronzer. And you can definitely see on this side of my face, there's a lot more blurring happening. And I, of course, look a lot more even on this side. So this is how it looks close up. Okay, so I'm gonna use a brush on the other side. This is the 102 from Soiba Silk Finish. I could already feel that I do not need any powder with this foundation. It feels set. Again, I'm gonna pour a little bit on the back of my hand. It kind of pours out really quickly when you open the cap, so you have to be careful not to spill it everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna start with that amount. I'm gonna grab a little bit from the back of my hand and apply on the areas where I need it. Okay, so mm, I don't know if I like it with the brush. There's some dry patches right there and I don't really like that. It's definitely enhancing dry patches. Even though I exfoliated my skin and I hydrated, it's to be expected from a long wear foundation don't feel like it's oxidizing i actually find it really white if you're dry skin 
don't don't get this but if you're oily and you've exfoliated and hydrated i still see patches but it's not super terrible they have a soft matte concealer in a pot usually you would use this for covering maybe acne or anything any extra redness around your face they recommend this for under eye as well and for under eye um i really would just recommend going with the radiant creamy concealer but since this is a soft matte review we're gonna use it under our eyes and cross our fingers that it doesn't look extremely cakey under the eyes. I'm gonna try two methods. I'm gonna use a brush, a concealer brush, and my finger. So I, of course, have discoloration around my eyes. Let's start with the brush. I'm gonna dip it in there, remove excess on the back of my hand. I always do this. I would start slowly. I would not go heavy-handed with this. This is a full coverage concealer. It is matte. I wouldn't recommend just putting a bunch and then blending it. Go little by little, add more if you need to. Right there, it doesn't look terrible. I'm gonna apply more in the back here. It doesn't look terrible. This is a 2.2 and the foundation is a four. This is almost two shades lighter and it almost looks identical. Overall, it's not terrible, but I would still choose the Radiant Creamy Concealer for under the eyes. For around the face, we're going to test that in a little bit. Let's go over to this eye with my finger. Maybe the warmth of my finger could give it a little bit more of a natural finish. You could definitely see some of the texture um, around the eyes. That's normal, we all have wrinkles under the eyes. Let's apply it on the sides of my nose. So for the acne spots, I'm gonna see if this is pretty much a good alternative to cover them. With my finger, I'm gonna go in on this one. That helped a lot, I think. I don't really know if I have to set anything. It feels pretty set, it feels matte. So I'm not gonna set it. I'm just gonna move on to the rest of my makeup. Hopefully the bronzer doesn't take away the hard work I did with the acne scars. This um, limited edition NARS Laguna cream bronzer was available during summer and it's not anymore. However, if you are a deeper shade than I am, I think on the NARS website they still have the Casino shade, which is a darker version than this one. This one is super scented. It smells like summer. They claim it goes from cream to powder. I'm gonna apply some on this side of my nose and on the top. So I really love the finish of this bronzer. It's not extremely matte. It's matte, it doesn't have any shimmer on it, but it looks great. Like, I love this product. Since I don't have any NARS eye products with me right now, I'm gonna actually use this on my eyes. I'm just gonna apply it on my lids, like a shadow. It's kind of funny how, yeah, you could definitely use this as a shadow, like a cream shadow. So I have nothing negative to say about this product except the smell. The fragrance is a little strong, but to be honest, I just love it. This is my go-to bronzer. Um, I haven't tried the Chanel one and I haven't tried the Say Beauty one. So if you're more into clean beauty, you could definitely just go with the Say one. But for me, the Laguna shade is just perfect. Now that the foundation has time to settle in my skin, I actually think it looks, it looks good. There's slight texture, but not like a lot where you notice it. So around here, I see a little bit of a glow going on. So that's good. Now we have the Air Matte Blush. This blush I've never used. I think the color is the darkest one. It's called Scandalous. It's so cute. It's so cute and tiny. <laughs> so it's a very deep color, probably suited for darker skin tones, but I fell in love with it. Looks good now for the holidays. And I can try with my fingers first. Ooh, it's super moussey. Oh, wow. It is, it like gets really sheer. 
So I don't think this product a little will go a long way. Ooh, it's so moussey. I love it. I'm super used to cream blush being super dewy and emollient, but honestly, I'm kind of digging this. What I'm gonna do is with the foundation brush, I'm gonna blend it, but I will. I'm gonna put a couple of dots. Let's start with that. I'm gonna blend this side with my finger just to see the difference. I do feel like the the finger side is better. I do also have more texture on this side of my face at the moment because of my breakouts. So I really like the blush. It doesn't really look extremely matte, but it also doesn't look super dewy and emollient. The color, even though it looks really deep here in the pot, is actually not super deep on the cheeks. It's pretty sheer and buildable. Um, to cover up the acne kind of dots that I have here, I mix the foundation shade or concealer shade with the blush and the bronzer. The specific spot that you wanna cover is not your skin tone anymore. It's a mix of different products on top. Okay, so that looks really good. With the Laguna Powdered Bronzer, I am going to set this cheek a little bit. The cream bronzer hasn't really creased terribly, and with the same powdered bronzer, I am just going to set it. It is the same shade, so it's really not going to change color or add any more depth. I don't have a NARS mascara, but I do have the Ilia Volumizing Mascara, and I really like it. So I'm going to use it. The packaging on this one is so big. The wand is pretty big, too. And, okay, for my last NARS matte product that I could find on the line, it's a lip balm. I think it's also limited edition, but they're still available. If you really like the look and you wanted to get a sheer matte lip balm, then this would be for you. I've used this for quite some time now. I always use lip liner and I don't have a nice lip liner, but I have this one from Makeup Forever. It is the color Versatile Chestnut. It's the one I've been using quite a bit. This lip balm is great for everyday use because it is comfortable. It doesn't feel extremely creamy. It's like a very soft, diffuse kind of lip look. And you can wear it over lip liner, you can wear it on its own. I'm not gonna do my brows because my bangs are quite long and you don't even see them. So this is how the products that I have from NARS that are matte look. I think they're great products for people who are oily skin like myself. It still looks a little bit lighter than my shoulder, so it hasn't oxidized at all in the time that I've used it. We will see on the wear test if it does oxidize. And so far, I really like the finish. The concealer does not look terrible under the eyes, but I do think it's just better for concealing around the face. I haven't set my face at all, and I don't feel like I need to set it. This would definitely be my go-to for correcting the areas around my face that have acne or anything that needs to be covered. The blush is quite sheer. It works better with your fingers. Don't use a brush with it. Would I recommend it? Mm, I think so. I really do think that if you're going for a matte look, this would definitely suit your makeup look. And if you're oily, it would probably suit your skin type as well. However, this is the darkest shade on the range. It looks good on my skin tone because it's quite sheer. So maybe the lighter colors don't really have that much color payoff, but this color is just gorgeous. I love the way it looks. I will definitely keep using it and trying it a lot more. I don't know. I think this is a very underrated product. I really haven't heard that much about it and I kind of enjoy it. I don't know. Sometimes I don't want a lot of color payoff and I just want like a little hint of color. And this one is really doing it for me. I usually go for the Kosas Tinted Lip Balm because I feel like it's a little bit more hydrating than this one. I really like this color with a lip liner and just like... And for the days where I don't want an intense look in the lips. So I really enjoy it. I think it's great. If you like the colors, I would say go for it. Those are my thoughts on all the products that I've tried today. 
Um, I think they're all pretty great. I think they have their time and space. So thank you very much for watching my video. This is the foundation after 30 minutes of wear. I put it on at 11, it's already 11.36. So we're gonna test it out for today. I don't have any powder, I don't have any blush, anything. We're gonna test it out 100%. It's 5.16 right now. I've worn the foundation since 11.30. Um, not even eight hours and I'm already pretty much super greasy. I haven't really, I haven't powdered or retouched at all. You probably can tell in camera, but there is some separating happening around here. They do claim it's transfer proof, and honestly, I don't know about that. 